Hey folks, this is Jeff. I'm going to shoot a short video showing you the voltage levels at different points depending on whether the grow watt is in bypass or inverter mode. Right now, I'm in bypass mode on this inverter. And in bypass mode, it is taking the grid and passing it straight through. And I want to show you the voltages that are coming out of the inverter. Let me get my camera here, and you're going to see. You got to be careful with this transformer as a get the cover off. This is my grid panel. Here are my voltages. I hope you can see it on my cam on the uh, camera. Red wire, 124 volts to neutral. Black wire, 124 volts to neutral. Black, red to black, 249 volts. Coming out of the inverter, remember we're in bypass mode. This is straight out of the inverter. Two hundred forty-nine volts. L one to neutral. One hundred twenty-five volts. L two to neutral. One hundred twenty-five volts. Now coming through my transformer, I've got it. This breaker turned on here, so I'm feeding my isolation transformer. I got this off. Line to line, 251 volts. Black to neutral, 125 volts. Red to neutral, 126 volts. Now this is what would be feeding my house if I had this system tied on, which I don't. Now I'm going to show you what happens when uh, you put the switch the grid off. Okay, the inverter is no longer in bypass mode. I don't think you can see that here too well. Let me see. It's not in bypass. It's inverter in inverter mode. I want you to see these voltages. And this is why I think it's very important as you use an uh, uh, isolation transformer if you're tied to the grid. All right. I'm going to check my phase to phase voltage. This is the Coming out of the inverter again, or line to line, 238 volts. Now I'm running strictly off the batteries, power, power output into the ver from the inverters into this output panel. Now to the ground, L1 is 99 volts, and L2 is 143 volts to ground. And the reason for that is when I'm in bypass mode, the grid is just passed straight through. So since my neutrals are both bonded to ground, because you have to have it that way to safely operate your house, I'm doing it through this isolation transformer, but nonetheless, they have to be bonded. So my when I'm going through bypass mode, I have a reference to ground because of the grid tied neutral. But when I'm in inverter mode, the grid is isolated. The neutral is isolated. 
I say it's isolated, it's still tied together, but the output of the inverter is isolated. So I don't have a reference to ground. So in order to get that reference, I have to come through this isolation transformer, which I've shown in another video. But this is my output. Two hundred thirty-eight volts, line to line, line one to neutral, one hundred nineteen, line two to neutral, one hundred nineteen. Now this, the way the reason this works like this is that the transformer isolates L1, L2 on the primary side from L1, L2 on the secondary side, even though. The neutrals are tied together through the ground because I grounded the neutral that I derived on the secondary side of this isolation transformer. The neutral is grounded on the grid side uh, and at the break, uh, outside breaker box. But that's okay because the lines are isolated. The primary side and the secondary side of the isolation transformer isolates the lines. So there's no possibility that current can flow from the secondary derived neutral of the isolation transformer to the grid neutral because the lines are isolated. Now, if you try to do this with a auto transformer, you're gonna have a problem when the grid is on because then you're going to have a parallel neutral connection from the grid in parallel with the neutral connection on the auto transformer and you're going to have a ground loop because when it's in inverter mode again the grid is down you're going to have to ground that neutral on the isolation transformer to get a reference to ground and for your fault current devices to work properly in the case of a ground fault. But then when it goes in bypass mode, it ties that neutral and the grid neutral together. There is no line isolation because the grid passes straight through the, through the uh, inverter. And then the auto transformer is creating a second ground using the same L1 and L2 as coming from the grid. And that's why it is a really bad idea to use an auto transformer when you have grid input into these hybrid inverters like this GrowWatt 5000 ES. Now, I hope, I hope this has helped you a little bit. I know it's a very short video. And I don't have anybody helping me record this, but the isolation transformer eliminates all those issues it does introduce a little extra line losses it does introduce a little extra expense but it's going to give you a safe and properly working system all right if you got questions or comments leave them in uh in the comment section have a good day